There are a lot of questions still about mm -hmm. what provoked a homeless man to go on a stabbing spree in a downtown Target. The incident has sparked a new conversation tonight about the need to address mental illness mm -hmm. and tackle the homelessness crisis. KCAL9's Lauren Posen is live in downtown LA with more. Lauren. Well, Juan, you know, police have not released the name of the suspect quite yet, but our sources tell us the 40-year-old man who was homeless didn't have much of a criminal history. This wasn't someone who was in, that, in and out of prison. And that's one of the reasons why one of the homeless advocates we spoke with tonight says what we saw unfold at that target could just be another example of someone being on the streets for far too long. Mayhem broke out at this downtown LA Target Tuesday night after a nine year old boy and a 25 year old woman were stabbed by a homeless man. Dina Echevarria is one of the dozens of shoppers who were inside the store at the time, but she also happens to be a doctor. And after she heard screams, rushes over to help the little boy. His mom was like hysterical. Um, and so, like, he was just like on the floor. He had like a like a white mat on top of him and then um, I just went over there and I said let me see let me see and the boy just looked absolutely terrified I said oh, I'm a doctor and then he looked at me and he's like doctora and I said yes and then um, I like said I looked at the I looked at his the, the cut and like it wasn't it was like like he like shaved off like the skin so it was just like you could see the, like the fat and stuff like that a security guard shot and killed the suspect the spotlight is now even brighter on the issue of homelessness in our city. And unfortunately, almost every time you hear about an event like this, you know it's going to be followed by a homeless, mentally ill person carrying it out, and that's because of our own doing. Andy Bales is with Union Rescue Mission. He says the solution goes beyond getting people into housing. Proper mental health care and addiction care, he says, is crucial to stop this cycle. We need to immediately get people under a roof with the right mental health care, the right uh, health care, and we need to not leave precious human beings on the streets until they're destroyed physically and emotionally and mentally and educationally and vocationally, destroyed in every way. That's what we're doing. Just last month, a woman was attacked by a homeless man who stabbed her with garden shears while she walked to a coffee shop in North Hollywood. Bales fears that if something isn't done, we will have more stories like this one, and people who need the help the most won't get it. Then it becomes survival of the fittest, and unfortunately, no one was meant to live like this on the streets. No other city comes close to leaving 50,000 people on the streets. No other city comes close to leaving a tenth of that number on the streets. Now, I've been checking all night for you with LAP to get the latest on the condition of the victims. Here's what I found out. The nine-year-old boy, both victims are still at the hospital. The nine-year-old boy is in stable condition. He's expected to be okay. The 25-year-old woman immediately went into surgery, and she right now is in critical condition. Reporting live in downtown, Lauren Posen, KCAL 9 News.